First responders from Des Moines to Cedar Rapids paid their respects to the victims of the deadly attack at Anamosa State Prison. Justin Surency has more from today's special procession. Protect and serve was more than a motto. His heart was clearly for the community. On Tuesday, Anamosa State Penitentiary Corrections Officer Robert McFarlane and nurse Lorena Schulte were killed in an attack when two inmates attempted to escape. He probably had a compassion for these individuals on a daily basis. And then for that to turn against him in such a dramatic way is just, it's heartbreaking. Urbandale residents waited patiently with heavy hearts Saturday morning as a procession for McFarland swept through 86th Street. It's nice to see community. It's nice to see people reaching out to a stranger. It was a somber yet meaningful family outing for Jessica who brought her children and waved signs of sympathy. We just really want them to understand the cost that the law enforcement is every day putting out for us and how important it is to support them. Fire departments across the state showed support on interstate overpasses as the procession worked its way east of the metro. First responders from near and far came to pay their respects. Vehicles from Urbandale Police and Fire, Waterloo Police, College Putnam Fire, Brandon Rural Fire, Ely Fire, where McFarland served as a volunteer firefighter, all made the 130-mile procession, which began at Caldwell Parish here in Urbandale, all the way to Cedar Rapids, where his final resting place will be. I can't imagine being the wife or the children and trying to grasp the cost that was just paid. In Urbandale, Justin Cernsey, 